welcome back to my Omicron Nuzlocke, and if you're wondering what happened between episodes... I'm supposed to open up my menu. Oh, there we go. I leveled up Seahorse Rue, and Freedom up to level 9. Freedom has evolved and has a massive defense. Its ability is Shed Skin, and it has a special defense boosting nature and a special attack decreasing nature. Whereas Seahorse Rue has a defense increasing nature and a special defense lowering nature. So we have two defensive Pokemon, and... Well, let's see how they do in our first real trainer battle. Now, the wild Pokemon in this area are super, super high level. Uh, I ran into a... I almost lost the Nuzlocke in my first encounter, which was a level 7 Rattata. I couldn't escape it three turns in a row, and... Well, it was terrifying. So let's see what Camper Eden would like to do. Morple. Surprisingly, the same level as a wild Pokemon. Should be no match for Seahorse Roo. And yes, I realize I spelled Seahorse wrong. Oh well. It has a unique name now. Pidgey! There's level 6 Pidgeys in the wild here, too. And they spam Smokescreen. This is not looking good. Getting close. Goodbye, Camper Aiden. I also had to blow two potions training my Pokemon up in the wild because they could not deal with the wild Pokemon. There are Starlies, Pidgeys, Wurmples, uh, Caterpies, and Rattatas were all I encountered. And all of them were strong. So it involved lots of trips to this place. In fact, that nurse already knows my name and, uh, well... It's not a good thing when the hospital knows who you are. There's anything down there. I can go back there later. I'm a little worried about the tall grass. Alright. Let's let Freedom win this battle. Actually, Lycan Freedom has done pretty well so far. She has done very well so far, I should say. Bug get your air on. Your Wurmple is no match for freedom! Poison? Shedskin's cured its poison! Yeah! Yeah! The true bug catcher. Bug catcher Aeron, your Caterpie is weak. It is not the true Caterpie. Freedom is the true Caterpie. You can slow down my speed, but you cannot slow down my spirit. Another good thing I figured out around here is that the burnt Pokemon do not have flying type moves yet, so freedom is safe ish. Alright. Don't know who you are. Freedom isn't looking as well as I'd like. Losing an entire 8 health in that battle. I can't find my way home! It's literally just straight up. Unless you're from, like, some other town. You can't achieve look at the battle. I don't know where I am, so I will fight everyone who comes across my path. Weedle?
Also, if you notice, the battle style is set to set. So I won't be given an option to switch out Pokemon in between uh, their fainted Pokemon. Uh, it should make the battles a little bit more interesting and require, like, a lot more thought. And probably sacrifices, but let's not let's not think about that. This guy just doesn't want me moving anywhere. Critical hit! Oh yes, and uh, Seahost Ruse's uh, special ability is Sniper, which increases the damage of critical hits. So I'm thinking that the critical hits in this game are... two times? So Sniper would make it three times? I'm not entirely sure. I didn't have many things crit me. Alright. So I take three damage from poison every turn. And this is not badly poisoned, so it will be the same amount of damage every turn. So I shouldn't have anything to worry about with this Caterpie. It goes down after this. Alright. I don't think poison kills you in this game. Survive the poisoning. Okay. I figured. We would have been able to buy antidotes otherwise. Alright. Will this be a new area? Nera Jex Forest, so we can catch a Pokemon here. What will it be? A Petalil. Interesting. That is a grass type Pokemon. I don't want to have my water token against that. Never actually used uh, one of these. I don't even remember the name of what it evolves into. Uh, I know it gets Quiver Dance, so that could be that could be good. I'm not liking how it's boosting its attack so much. Okay, that's good. Alright. Ah, oh, now I need to think of a name. On the spot. Anyway, Petlil, the bulb Pokemon. Since they prefer moist, nutrition rich soil. The areas where Petlil live are known to be good for growing plants. Well, I hope so. I mean, like, it's a grass-type Pokemon. If it can grow, grass Pokemon should grow. Ah, uh, anyway, female Petlil evolves into Lee Vanny. Lee Vanny? Uh, I think it's Lee Vanny. It's not Whimsicott. Hmm. Lee Vanny. You know what? I'm name it Knives. Knives Chow. If anyone gets that reference, feel free to comment. Anyway, let's get all healed up in the Pokemon Center. Knives Chow up to uh, 
level sometime later, but uh, doing so now would risk getting overleveled for the gym. I'm not sure how much more I need to go through, so uh, I'm gonna wait a bit. That and this area is absolutely packed with Wurmple and... Yeah, Wurmple that have a uh, super effective poison sting. And like, Pidgeys. What are you doing here? The forest is scary, right? I'm not afraid. Uh, should be afraid. Be very afraid. There's like... Pokemon in here. The may or may not be friendly. We don't know. Alright. Just gonna raid this person's house, find a Pokeball. Sweet. Talk to this old lady. Did you know the legend of Celebi? No, I don't. They say it lives in the shrine of this very forest. It brings peace to all of the Pokemon of the forest. I hope we see it again. However, they say it left the forest long ago. Some trainers are stronger than others. In every city, the strongest trainers will band together to make a gym. The strongest of these is called a gym leader. Only powerful trainers can challenge a gym leader. Are you a powerful trainer? Not really. Yes, um, would you like to back that up? I still have a Pokemon from my days as a trainer. We can battle if you'd like. Sure. Well then, let's go at it, shall we? I really hope it's not like some level 20 thing. I mean, he's pretty old. A level 7 Rattata. He trained his butt off. Five damage. Water gun, yeah! I actually have a decent stack even now. 504 bucks! This guy's loaded! Well then, that's fine. And take this for good measure. Got a great ball! I can catch, like, a Mewtwo with that. Great ball is special because it has a higher catch rate than a Pokeball. If there's a Pokemon you want really badly, well, this will make it easier to catch. I really want a Beldum. Or a Ghastly. In my last Nuzlocke playthrough of Storm Silver, I haven't finished it yet, but uh, I encountered a shiny Ghastly. Needless to say, I was quite happy. Shh! I'm on a mission for the Pokemon Rangers. I'm trying to track down a rare Pokemon. Well, I don't know what you can find around here, but I'm sure there's something. Pokemon could be in this tree. Maybe a Pokemon could shake it. Oh, you could headbutt trees in this game, too. back to you. I like shorts. They're comfortable and easy to wear. Short Sky! I always wondered why they just had like an obsession with shorts in some of the other games. Why are you staring at the tree? They say Devin, the superior town gym leader, uses fighting type Pokemon. Flying is good against fighting. Maybe I could catch something on Route 301. Yeah, there's a lot of flying Pokemon. Here's some berries. Petra berries. Yeah. Hey, that means, uh... Butterfree would be awesome against a flying, uh, fighting gym. Uh, I hope it levels up before 15. I think it does. 12, maybe? 13? Shroomish. That would be cool to have, too. Oh, grass types. Gee, you have a Pokemon. You must be a trainer. I'm in this forest trying to catch one myself. Maybe when we get one, we can have a battle. I was like, no one in this forest has any Pokemon. Oh, look, a Hypno. It looks awfully sad. Oh, poor sad Hypno. You creepy, creepy thing. And I'm only running from these battles to make sure I don't get too leveled up. But, uh, I do want to clear this area of trainers, if possible.
with Cricket Tot. Such a strange Pokemon. Alright, this is Route 301. I already have a Pokemon from Route 301, so I can't catch another one. Dusk Ball? Those are good. Alright, before Superior Town, let's go find out what was north of that hip now. Purple! What am I doing? Why am I fighting this horrible? I have no reason to. Make love, not war. Oh, well, that was that was interesting. Just go up twice. So got some teleporting stuff there. Let's check out Pet Lil, or Knives Chow, I should say. Summary. <laughs> Defense increasing, increasing nature and has own tempo. Prevents Pokemon from being confused. That might save me from some shenanigans uh, later in the game. The shrine glows with the glory of ages past. It's probably where you get Celebi. Alright, who are you? Ack, I'm not here, I'm not here. Please, don't tell anyone I was here. I'll teach you one of your Pokemon headbutt, yeah. How about that, sure. Yay, Seahorse Roo. Yes, which should be forgotten. Uh... Okay. Pound is really weak. I could head about a tree in the town and catch a Pokemon there. Hi, Nico. Uh oh. Escape. Okay, phew. I don't know if they're given any more moves in this game, but uh, nothing but explosion is a little terrifying. So I'm going to go uh, back up to the first town and uh, head about a tree for my Pokemon there, and uh, that'll be it for the episode, and the next one will start off in Superior City. Uh, I just need to find my way back. All of these people that no one wants to fight. It's like Pokemon pacifism or something. I got my Pokemon for the sole purpose of battling everybody. And I plan on battling everybody. I can't escape. They doubt my skills. Went to sleep. Ha! Huh, I can't sleep. Yeah, that's another problem with having two slow Pokemon to start off with. Poor Susan particularly fast, and I... Metapod isn't at all. So grinding was quite painful, especially when I couldn't escape from anything that was a threat. So anyway, this is not my first Nuzlocke. Uh, I did uh, Omega uh, Alpha Sapphire, and actually completed that uh, without much trouble. I had 11 Pokemon die, and most of them were my fault. I had a few just horrible shenanigans happen involving Sandvale. Uh, 
but uh, I also did Storm Silver, although I haven't finished that yet. Um, oh wait, I might not actually be able to get a Pokemon in this town. Yes, uh, I just finished the seventh gem as of now. Is this still the town? Through headbutt. Can't use that here. Why not? What is a headbuttable tree? Is it not? So I just can't get a Pokemon in this town. Well, I said I was gonna use headbutt. Let's just test one out on one of these trees, see what happens. I can't catch it, but at least it'll be interesting to see what comes out. As long as it's not some like level 20 toot. -toot. Yes, I want to have about it. Let's see. Pineco! Oh, shoot. Exactly what I didn't want to encounter. Well, anyway, uh, I'm gonna end the episode here. Uh, tune in next time for, uh. Superior Town. And possibly the first gem? I. I don't know. We'll have to find out. <laughs>